Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mara, and I'm gonna show us how to do a really cool experiment with some cookie cutters, baking soda, and I have in this cup here some white vinegar. So you'll need those things. I recommend a tray, uh, some food coloring, you'll need a spoon for scooping your um, baking soda, and a turkey baster, a pipette, or another spoon for your vinegar. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. And this is a great way to explore some color mixing as well, or you can just try colors one at a time. You're gonna take your spoon, have your little one fill each of the shapes with a bit of baking soda. Let's see if we can keep it kinda flat on our tray here. Don't need too much, maybe about halfway, I think is probably good. Let's try our little hippo over here. All right, and we've got a little teddy bear. Let's fill up our teddy bear. Okay, maybe a little bit more. All right, now we can start adding in our colors. So I just brought out red, blue, and yellow because they're perfect for mixing. Let's start with uh, some red in our elephant. Maybe a couple drops of red. And what about a couple drops of blue in there too? We'll add a little bit of blue to our hippo along with a bit of yellow. And why don't we try some yellow for our bear and along with a little bit of red. All right, now we're gonna take our vinegar and squirt a little bit into our shape and let's see what happens. We're gonna get a really cool reaction and let's see what happens to the colors as well. Now, you shouldn't eat too much vinegar, just enough to kind of sp sprinkle a little on top there. Let's try our elephant. Ooh, look at that. So our colors are starting to mix together. And as it comes down, you can add a little bit more. Looks like we're getting some purple from our red and blue there. Let's try a bit with our hippo. Let's see what colors we get there. Wow, look at that. And it's a great fine motor experience for little ones to work on spooning the baking soda into the shapes and also squeezing the baster or the pipette as well. Ooh, look at that one overflowed a little bit. Kind of getting mostly blues in that one. Didn't really get in much of the yellow mixed in. Oh, I see a little bit of it coming out there. And let's try our teddy bear. Ooh. Ah, oh, that was pretty cool. It kind of foamed up first and then the colors came out afterwards. Try that one again. And as the reaction dies down, allow your little one to kind of experiment. They can poke a finger in there if they like. You can take your spoon and try mixing it around a little bit. Maybe add a little bit more of that vinegar on top. Ooh, I got a little bit of tie-dye in my teddy bear there. Let's try a little, one more little squirt on each one. Go one, and two, and three. Woo! <laughs> so this activity is so much fun for little ones and just a really simple, easy kind of chemical reaction for them to play with. And we can mix colors and do a little bit of colorful art along the way. Have fun with that one.